Welcome to Master Duel Arena, where two duelists enter, but only one may reign supreme. Each episode, duelists will build decks using Hearthstone's Arena draft format. Three cards appear, but only one can be chosen. Duelists will build their decks this way, card by card, until their decks are complete, then play a best two out of three. This is Master Duel Arena. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Master Duel Arena, and boy, am I excited to get drafting once again. So our first pick here between a Sura Priest, Pyramid Turtle, and Offerings to the Doom. Turtle could be good, but I think, I, like, we don't know if we're going to get zombies. I think it's between, like, a Sura Priest and Offerings. A Sura Priest has a lot of value, especially if there's, like, any of the recruiters or anything. So I think I'm going to go for Priest to kick things off here. Sukiyomi, Mechanical Chaser, Banisher of the Light. Suk can just out so many things. If we get to Flip Effect Monster, Suk can be big. I think we're going to go for the Souk. Uh, Sasuke Samurai, Mask of the Accursed, Hyper Hammerhead. Sasuke can deal with sets. Mask of the Accursed is like an annoying way to like stop stuff from attacking us. And Hyper Hammerhead can deal with stuff too. I do like that Sasuke can deal with set monsters. And if we can protect Sasuke, that's pretty good. But Mask has its merits as well. I think I'm going to go for Sasuke and hope that we get removal to protect him. Uh, and that's not any removal. Uh, Kelbeck, Thousand Needles, Insect Knight. Kelbeck can be really annoying. I think I'm going to go for Kelbeck, given those options. Barrel, Wall, Spirit Barrier. I think that's an easy wall, unfortunately. Of course, we get the Mystic Swordsman. I had a feeling that that might come up. Swordsman, Penguin Soldier, final attack orders. Uh, so far, we just have five monsters and nothing else. Boy, that sucks. Penguin Soldier can set back tempo quite well, but Mystic Swordsman level two can just deal with the set monsters. I'm going to go with the Swordsman. It might be a bit redundant, but I think it's okay. I guess we should have taken the Pyramid Turtle because there's Ryukoki. Uh, Zombira, Giant Red Sea Snake. I think we go for Zombira there. Okay, finally, we're actually getting some good cards. Dust Tornado, Book of Moon, Reflect Bounder. Not that these cards aren't good, but... Uh, specifically, we need cards that do something. I think I'm going to take Book because it actually combos with our Swordsman and Sasuke quite well. And it's just a versatile card. I really want to take Dust Tornado, but I think Book just edges it out here. Next, we have our Fusions. These only really matter for like Metamorphosis and Cyberstein. So I guess we go like Dark Blade, Guiltia. Ooh, this is pretty good for Stein. I think it's Gatling Dragon if we get it. All right, let's draft these cards. Uh, I want to make this very clear. I have probably never seen any of these cards unless it's like Blue Eyes White Dragon or something. Actually, Creature Swap kind of looks familiar. I used to collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards back in the day. I did watch some of the anime. I used to play some of the games. So some of these will probably be familiar, but virtually for the first time, it's like my first time reading these cards. Uh, so we'll see how we do. Um, please don't flay me in the comments. My ego is very fragile. All right, what do we got here? So we got Creature Swap. Each player chooses one monster they control and switches control of these monsters with each other. Those monsters cannot change their battle position for the rest of the turn. Unironically, that seems like a pretty good card. Uh, Wave Motion Cannon. During your main phase, you can send this face-up card to the graveyard. Inflict a thousand damage to your opponent for each of your standby phases that have passed since this card was activated. <laughs> Threatening Roar. Your opponent cannot declare an attack this turn. See, like, I feel like this is the most useful one. Um, I'm not, I'm actually not against Threatening Roar either, but I'm going to take Creature Swap. I think that's actually pretty good. What the hell is that? I, how do I... Granador? Granadora? Granadora? I don't know. Flip. Target one monster your opponent controls. Return that target to the hand. Oh, my God. Yo, that could go insane. I'm, I'm guessing Flip means, like, you set it, and then you flip it, and then that that's what it does. That actually could be really good. Sacred Crane. If this card is special summon, draw one card. Hmm. I like the Gale Lizard. A little bit lower stats than I would hope for, but that's a pretty good effect. That's like sap on a stick for Hearthstone terms, so I'm kind of in. Dark Dust Spirit. Also my name in high school. Oh, that's kind of that's like a board clear that keeps on coming back as long as you could sacrifice monsters. Gigantus. Uh, do I have an Earth monster yet? Skilled Dark Magician. Wow, the guy's getting flamed without even being here, man. Normal Dark Magician is pissed. I mean, stat line, that's kind of nuts. I kind of like this. Kind of interesting. This one seems very good, uh, but it also kind of hurts my game plan. Like, it's a big boy, don't get me wrong, but I can normal some of that. I mean, this guy's also just kind of like big. He's a better stat line almost, right? And maybe I got a Dark Magician. I don't know what rarity Dark Magician is, so I don't really want to destroy my spells is the problem. I want to pick the bigger stat line here, I think. Penguin Soldier, my God. Target two monsters on the field, return those to Targets to the hand. Okay, so another Sap-esque effect if I flip this. Pitch Black Werewolf. Your opponent cannot activate trap cards during the battle phase. Toon Goblin Attack Force. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Toon cards, man. I remember those. Why do they make these? 
I'm guessing like the anime. I mean, that's a lot of attack, but am I really going to hope for like Toon World? I like the penguin. I like the flip aspect of it. I think it's, it's pretty spicy. I think this could also be really good, but I'm a big sap guy. Uh, change all face of monsters on the field to defense position. Ooh, this card attacks. And it's changed to defense position at the end of the battle phase. So he gets one good swing and then he dies. It's like a really aggro card. Okay, I'm going to take that. That could be really good. I think at least we're, we're kind of going for like an annoying build. Not going to lie, but once we turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. When this card is flip summon, return all monsters your opponent controls to the hand. Oh my God, again. All right, that, that verified my flip theory. That's what it does. I'm just guessing off that card. Uh, That's actually not a, that's a pretty good card. It seems like, damn, I'm actually a huge fan of this. It's five though. So I do have to sacrifice something to play it, but it could be really, really good. I'm gonna do the Sphinx. I think that looks like a good card. I'm, I'm probably picking the worst cards here. I'm super sorry. Like, I hope this deck is good because then it's just gonna be an absolute wash. But I'm trying, I'm trying. Breaker the Magical Warrior. That's a sick fucking name, bro. And I hardly know her. That seems really strong. What the hell? Level limit, change all face up level four or higher monsters defense position. Man, we already have the creature swap. I what I wanna do. I'll be a reason for it. I'm gonna take this card. That seems good. Oh, I remember this guy. I don't remember what he does though. This card destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. You can pay 100 life points. Special summon it face up in defense position. Mother Grizzly guy. Where did they get this photo of me? Well, this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. You can special summon one modern monster, one water monster with 1500 or less attack for your deck in face up attack position. Do I have any water monsters? I do have a penguin face up though. It has to be face up. Ah, all my water boys. I mean, that's actually like, I might, I might take that. Tribute one warrior type monster in the side of your field to destroy one favorite monster in the field whose defense is equal or less than the attack of that creature. So can I tribute this? I guess I couldn't. I'm gonna take the Grizzly. That seems really strong. Whoa, look at these motherfuckers. Uh, other monsters on the field cannot change their battle positions or attack. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls equip that target to this card. This card's attack and defense becomes equal to the equipped monsters. This card would be destroyed by battle, destroy the equipped monsters instead. What the fuck? That seems nuts lord of the d oh that's how you f wait how do i summon this i need a thousand eyes idle and relinquished oh so these cards i'm never summoning well this one actually says a fusion summon of this card can only be done with the above fusion material monsters negate all the negate the effects of flipped monsters effects negate any trap effects that is target on this card field and if you do destroy that okay so i mean i'm gonna take this guy just because i think he's very strong but i don't think i get to play it right oh they're extra duck so to summon this motherfucker you need those two what about you Oh, they're, they're probably just bad. All right, I'll take the one that looks the coolest, I guess. I mean, she's got a nice she's got a nice look to her. I don't know. I think, that, yeah, we'll just go with that. Hey, another one. Dude, this guy right here brings me back. I mean, again, I'm probably not playing with them, so I'm, I'm just going to use that. Okay, here we're, we're, we're so back. Dark Elf, Luster Dragon, Gaia Soul. We have three darks to one light. So Dark Elf normally would be like a good pick here. Luster Dragon's just Dark Elf, but with not nearly as much downside. I think sadly, I'm gonna take the Dark Elf. Uh, ooh, Creature Swap, Threatening Roar, Jinzo. God, I mean, we have to take the Jinzo, right? But we just like do not have removal right now. It's early in the draft, so we could still get some, but damn, Jinzo's insane. Threatening Roar is like a way to protect our guys, but unfortunately, I think Jinzo just wins out. I think it's too good. Bazoo, Gravity Axe, Cross Counter. We have a lot of monsters for Bazoo. Gravity Axe could be good just because we can give it to one of our smaller guys and it can hit over something. I, mean, I think we just take Bazoo, honestly. A Cursed Jujitsu Master Abyss Soldier. How many waters do we have? Zero. Okay, so I don't think Abyss Soldier is it, even though it's a good body. Jujitsu Master is good, though, because it helps us wall for, like, getting a Jinzo set up. I'll go Jujitsu Master. There we go. We're going to... Ooh, mm. Blast Switch Chain only works if it's destroyed by card effect. But if it's destroyed by card effect, it's also like a two for one. Green, this is like all removal, which is crazy. Green Kappa is a flip that just destroys two set spell or traps, which is kind of crazy. I think we just have to go with Fisher though. I guess if Blast with Chain is being threatened, it's a way we can destroy stuff, but I don't know how reliable that is, is the problem. I think we just take the Fisher. I think Blast with Chain, we have to set it up for it to activate. And I just want to actually make sure I can take monsters out. So we'll take Fisher. Ooh, Brain Con, Soul Exchange, Morphing Jar number two. Brain Con put in work last time. I, we need like more tributes, but I think Brain Con's actually the move here. Grizzly, Granadora, Mystic Swordsman level four. These are all kind of bad. I'm kind of regretting not taking that Abyss Soldier now because there are some waters we could have at least synergized with it. 
Funny enough, Mystic Swordsman level 4, we do have Mystic Swordsman level 2, but Mystic Swordsman level 2 has to kill something in battle, and it can't be by its own effect. Grizzly's not it, because we don't have waters. Grenadora is just like a bad 1900. Just for the meme factor, I want to try to summon Mystic Swords in level 4 with the effect of level 2. So we'll try that. Crane, Incarnate, Dark Elf again. Still light on the lights, but we haven't even seen any Chaos guys yet. We don't really have any special summoning going on for Crane. We haven't seen Creator. I honestly think it's Dark Elf again, unfortunately. We'll take Reaper here. We'll take Dark Flare Knight. And I guess we'll take... I'm trying to, like, divide my cards up equally. I guess between Ryu Senshi and Ultimate Dragon, we take Senshi because meta is more likely to come up. Robin Goblin, eh? Man, Robin Goblin sounds like it could go pretty hard. Because I could go for, like, a flip effect. And then we, we hit him with the Robin Goblin. I'm in. It's probably so bad. I remember that card, too. Um, I kind of like this one more just because I feel like it... It, the vibe I'm getting from this format is like there's not a lot of insane plays you can make like it, de it does seem like it's like incremental tempo so I actually think Call of the Haunted could be really good I could be very wrong about that Bazoo! Once per turn you can banish three monsters from your graveyard this attack card sorry this card gains 300 attack for each until the end of your roulette barrel once per turn you can roll a six-sided dice twice choose one result and destroy one monster in the field whose level is equal to that result um that actually seems fucking insane I'm gonna take that I like that I mean, that's probably okay. I seem so bad. Let's take the Luster Dragon. Metamorphosis. What the fuck? Tribute one monster. Special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck with the same level as the tributed monster. Wait, is this a fusion? Yes! Okay, so I need to get a one cost. But I'm taking that almost guaranteed, right? Also, this one's worth fucking... This one's OP. I don't even think it's worth... I'm taking that. I don't even think it's worth looking at the other one. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll continue on this path. If this card is attacked by a monster after damage calculation. Return that monster to your hand. Um, this card is destroyed by battle instead of the graveyard. Took a one monster on the field, destroy that. Again, not the worst thing in the world. During your battle phase, this card cannot be destroyed by battle, and you take no battle damage from attacks involving this card. This card is attacks a monster after damage calculation. The attack target loses 500 attack until the end of this turn. This card seems fine. This kills a card. Whoa. Black Luster Soldier? This is a warrior card. Not be normal summon or set must be first special summon from hand by banishing one light and dark monster from your graveyard once per turn you can activate one of these effects target one monster in the field banish it this card cannot attack this turn this effect is activated if this attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by battle you can make a second attack in a row only to a monster your opponent controls take control of the equipped monster during your opponent's standby phase they gain a thousand life points dude that seems so strong Holy shit. Draw three cards and discard two. That also seems good, though. I like that a lot. It's pretty good. This is, seems very strong, though. I'm going to take that. I think that's better. If a face-down defense position monster or an effect monster is on the field, change all face-down defense position monsters on the field to face-up defense position. Flip all mon flip monsters' effects are not activated during this time. Also, inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each effect monster on the field. I'll probably just take this. This is probably okay. These two seem bad. I mean, he's okay, but I don't really want to special summon it. Oh, yeah, because I got Metamorphosis, though, I have to pay attention to, like, the level. Your opponent cannot target Dragon Monsters with card effects. Once per turn, you can special summon one Dragon Monster from your hand. If this card is special summon, destroy all monsters, all the monsters you control. Neither player can summon monsters. Oh, my God. Okay, that's the juice. I need to get, a, I need to get seven, boys. I mean, the chance of it working out is so unlikely. I should at least think about metamorphosis, right? All right, what do we got here? Wait, was that a fusion guy? Oh, I didn't pay attention. Yeah, they're all, it looks like they're all fusion. This is a fiver. Do I have fivers? I definitely have some fivers in here. Okay, we'll take the shark. Oh, another one. Okay, that's the dragon boy. Another one of these? What do you do? Fusion summon of this card can only be done with the above fusion materials. So I, if it says that, I'm guessing that metamorphosis doesn't work then. So I just take this guy again. I'm going to take two of those. Uh, that's, that does seem pretty good. Angel, Insect Knight, Nephthys. I kind of want Shining Angel, but we need lights to synergize with it. We just don't have that right now. Insect Knight's just a big guy. We'll take Shining Angel. That's fine. Between all these, I think I will try a Gravity Axe. It's like kind of removal. Sangen's pretty good, even though it's a Radded Sangen. I think that's fine. God, we have we still have like no real removal. I think I might take Graceful Dice just because I feel like we're lacking good monsters. Like we're just, we're just lacking combinations of cards i don't want to draw a hand of like 900 monsters 
I've already got some big monsters. You know what? Let's take the graceful dice. I'm going to try it. Souk, Nightmare Wheel, Big Bang Shot. I think because we're in a situation where we're light on removal, I think I'm going to take Nightmare Wheel. Behemoth's not bad. I think I'm going to take Tribute to the Dune because, once again, I just don't really have a ton of removal. Ryoku's okay, too. I do think I just want real removal, though, so I'll take Tribute to the Doomed. Man, a second Pyramid Turtle. That would have been crazy. Reaper's definitely the pick here, though. Ooh. I really like Zombira, but I think I need to start getting removal in this deck, so I think I'm going to have to take the Trap Hole to balance things out a bit here. None of these are really important. We'll just take, like, Dark Fire, uh, I guess, Roaring Ocean Snake. And, again, this doesn't really matter, so I'll take, like, Dragoness. I, maybe I'm fucking coping out of my mind here, to be honest, but... I mean, I, I, can get, I can get behind it. Change the battle position to face a monster here for the controls. Jar of Greed. Draw one card. <laughs> oh, it's a one-cost card. This attack of this card is the number of monsters in your graveyard. Wait, so hold on a second. So if I... I just want to make sure I understand this right. So I get to play this. This card seems so nuts. I'm going to fucking take that shit. Just so I have it. Your Jar of Greed is not bad, though. When your opponent summons a monster, half that monster's original attack... Okay. This card battles a monster, toss a coin, call heads or tails before the damage calculation. If you call it right, destroy the imposter. Oh, yo, I'm going to go for that for the, just the juicy high roll, I think, to be honest. How many cards have I have already? I think I have a decent amount. The flipping sounds so bad, though, because I have to put it in defense position that's 400. I don't know about that, man. Blade Knight. Gain for an attack while you have one or less cards in your hand. If you control no other monsters, the, the effects of flip monsters destroyed by battle with this card are negated. Okay. He's a big, he's kind of a big guy, though. I don't know. I don't really know if I want to play for that win condition. I might just take this. I feel like just having cards is good. This is also interesting, though. It could help me a ton. I mean, this is arguably the best card, but I'm going to go with this. Ooh. You pay 5,000 life points. Special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck in attack position. Yeah, I'll do that. That sounds pretty good. Hey, I remember Trap Hole. Error loading card. Nice. When your opponent normal or flip summons one monster. Wait, flip summons one monster with a thousand or more attack. Target that monster, destroy that target. Ooh. Let's just on one Gravekeeper's monster with 500. Gravekeeper? I mean, that's not bad. He's a high, if I can get another one, I'll, I'll, I'll look for another Gravekeeper. Okay. He's actually kind of madder now, right? Because of just this dude. Where, where the fuck is he? The two star boy. This guy, Cyberstein. This feels like a pretty good draft, I'm pretty sure. I could spend 5,000 life points to get this motherfucker on the board. Master of Oz. I'm gonna go with Master of Oz. Dark Blade the Dragonite is a sick fucking name though. The he just has the bigger one. So we'll just do that. <gasps> Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. If I understand this correctly, let me just double check. I got him. If I am wrong about this, I'm gonna get rolled. But pay five thousand life points. Special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck in attack position. Yeah, I feel like that's um pretty good. Offerings, Jiu-Jitsu Master, Mage Power. Am I desperate enough for removal that I'm going to take Offerings to the Doomed? We're like over halfway through the draft. I don't really have enough spells to justify Mage Power. I think we're going to get more removal. I Man, do I really want another Jiu-Jitsu Master though? There's so many better monsters. It's good for helping me wall up, but I have to like win the game at some point. God, there's so many better removal cards than Offerings. There has to be. I'm going to... Yeah, let's take Jiu-Jitsu Master. It's kind of annoying. Azu Warwolf Sasuke number four. I like Pitch Black Warwolf. There are a lot of like battle tricks in this draft. So we'll, we'll take Warwolf. Cannon Skilled White, Arm Dragon level three. This is a way to get a light monster. But that 100 attack could potentially matter, which is what I hate about this. I'm gonna go for the Skilled White. I think it's slightly better. Crimson Ninja can destroy traps and we have like zero spell and trap removal because we passed up on Dust Tornado. I think I'm going to play it a little bit safe and play Crimson Ninja just so we have some sort of removal. Mystic Tomato is probably really good because we have so many darks in this deck. I think we have s multiple targets. We have Sangan. We have Spirit Reaper. Wall of Illusion even. Yeah, let's take the Tomato. Oh, wow. We actually pulled the Creator. If we took those Creator Incarnates earlier, we could have actually gone for it. That kind of sucks. Um, I think Wall is still probably the pick here. We're playing like this really defensive style deck. I feel like we need some payoffs besides like just Jinzo. Oh, I, there's Ask and You Shall Receive. I guess there's another Jinzo if we want it. Jinzo's just insane. Yeah, I'm gonna take Jinzo. Uh, I do need some ways to protect my field. So I'm gonna take this negate attack. Let's go for Twin Headed, Master of Oz. And I already took Ryu Senji, so we can take Blue Eyes Ultimate. Axe, defense position monster. Inflict piercing battle damage. Card inflicts battle damage to your opponents. Okay. It's, not, it's five, though, unfortunately. I'll take you. 
You saw this guy before, right? Yeah. I mean, he might be okay. Draw three cards and discard two. So like, I'm not sure if discarding puts cards in the graveyard. I'm pretty sure it does. If I'm wrong about that, I kind of suck, but I feel like this is a good card if I'm, if I can't, but like, I'm sorry. I feel like this is a good card if um that's how it works. Not this card, fuck this card. What do you do? Both players discard as many cards as possible from their hands. Then each player draws five cards. See, dude, that's exciting. That's exciting, but I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Solemn judgment. Pay half your life points, negate the summon or activation if you do destroy that card. Shit. I got one lot so your opponent controls until the end phase. Take control of that target, but it cannot declare attack of you. Okay. Turn all spell and trap cards on the field to the hand. Uh, I'm gonna do that good. Half my life points after I use Cyber Scene. We're chilling. We'll never die. Let's tribute this card. Special summon one. Special summon one the creator from your hand. Who's the creator? I mean, it sounds really good because he's got a big attack or big defense. I'm gonna take him. More cards are need 12. Hey, it's Penguin Boy. I like that. I'll, I'll be willing to risk this. That's not horrible. My body as a shield. That's fucking crazy. While life points is lower than your opponents, the equip monster attacks. Okay, so we we're we're gonna definitely be lower than him for sure, right? So I'm gonna take that, even though it may not be correct. Tribute two monsters on the side of your field to increase your life points by a thousand. I'll take another quick. If this card is destroyed by battle instead of the grave, destroy the monster and destroy this card. I can see like that's not horrible, right? The equip mods. I'm gonna take this. I'm okay with it. Um, saw you. We saw you. I believe we saw all this. Take the middle one. Bunch of booty cheeks. We'll take you. Who is this? Fusion summon of this monster can only be conducted with the above. See, like I don't know if that actually stops this. So I don't want to take it. The, the other two. I'm just gonna take it anyways. It doesn't really probably matter because I'm not gonna summon it regardless. What is this? Smashing ground. Thank God. Wall wave motion skill drain. Wall could actually just be game breaking if Raren doesn't have a lot of removal for it. I think I'm gonna go for the wall. Four star ladybug, adhesion trap hole, cyber harpy. Adhesion's kind of neat. On summon, it just halves a monster's attack. Four star ladybug of doom though is literally just a board wipe depending on what our opponent decides to play. I don't know though. There's other stuff in here that's just not level fours. I also just like getting another trap card because I feel like I'm really just spell and trap light. I'm already at 23 monsters. Archfiend Soldier is a good beater. I, I I like spiritualism because like if Raren has his own copy of Wall of Revealing Light or some weird trap card, spiritualism can actually be quite good to make sure we can hit through it. It's also a way to make sure a monster sticks or we can just get a big push in potentially. We already have some decent bodies all around. I think I'm gonna go spiritualism. Oh my God, Compulse Dust Torrential. I think I have to go for Torrential, right? It's a board wipe. I actually have some decent spell and trap removal this time. I've got two Jinzos, the Crimson Ninja, and I just took the Spiritualism. Yeah, we're going TT all the way. Divine Wrath, Archfiend Soldier, Goblin Attack Force. This is gonna be our last picks here coming up. Divine Wrath is like fine. I don't really think there's enough activated effects for Divine Wrath to be useful to us. I think I'm just going to take Archfiend Soldiers. This is a big guy. Oh, shit. This is what we were looking for. Mobius Grandmar Tribute to the Doomed. Mobius is a huge blowout card, especially because we have so many defensive walls. We have the Walls of Illusion. We have the, the Jujitsu Masters. We have a tomato that can float into a bunch of things. I'm a bit light on removal still, but I think Mobius is just a blowout. Yeah, I'm gonna go Mobius. Zero Gravity, Goblin Attack Force, Waboku. Waboku and Zero Gravity both have their merits. I think Zero Gravity might be a little bit better because if Raren tries to just summon some guys and attack, Zero Gravity, they both do the same thing, but Zero Gravity puts the stuff to defense. And that's relevant because then I can actually hit over the stuff on the crackback. Yeah, I think I like Zero Gravity just a little bit better. So I think we're gonna go for that. And we're just gonna round out our draft here with a few more fusions that actually don't matter to us. That's it. Uh, definitely a tough draft. I don't think this was easy in the slightest, but I think we actually maybe managed to throw a deck together. I'm kind of regretting taking the Shining Angel because it has zero targets. Um, that, I think, is maybe the only misstep, but I forget what we even had as an option to pick instead of it. But aside from that, I think our deck actually has somewhat of a cohesive game plan by setting some walls and then tributing for big guys, and hopefully that's good enough. Let's see what happens. The monster summon destroy all monsters on the field. Oh my god. I got one face on monster you control, equip this card to that target. If it gains it gains 500 attack. If this card is destroyed by a card effect while equipped, target one card on the field, destroy that target. A lot of one for ones in this format, it seems like. 
Block, destroy, and remove from play one face down spell or trap card. If it was a trap card, both players must remove from play all copies of the card from their decks. I'm gonna go with that. This one's too spicy for me because if I'm for, I got, yeah, seems like it could be bad. What is this? If your opponent monster attacks the monster you control, you can make the attack a direct attack instead. You know, unironically, we have a lot of flip cards, so that's actually not too bad. Oh, I like that more. <laughs> I like this guy the most. I think he's good. Just desserts. Inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each monster they control. Yo, the burn? Uh, Excavate from the top card of your, sorry, top of your deck until you excavate a spell slash trap and add that card to your hand. Also, send the remaining cards to the graveyard. Ugh. Discard one card from your hand and declare one type of monster. Destroy all face up monsters. Declare. Change all effect monsters on the field to defense positions until the end of this turn. The original def death defense of those monsters becomes zero. That could be strong. Um, both of these are probably better though. This is very situational. Like, I guess a lot of the monsters in this game have effects, but I feel like we can do better. I don't know which one's better. I mean, maybe I need more monsters. We don't have a lot of spells, though. It feels like I'm just gonna take that. That seems like it could be good. Oh, there's the creator. Turn one monster guard, send that card from your hand to the grave, and if you do special summon that target. Damn, if I took the other guy, it would have been sick. All the guy did, I was like, who's the creator? Well, you don't know if you're gonna get him, of course, right? But this is situational. This one just feels good. Because like 1700 seems like it's a pretty good number in this. I'd be wrong, I'm gonna take it. We saw you, what do you do? When an opponent monster declares an attack, destroy the attacking position monster your opponent controls with the highest attack of choice. When your opponent activates a spell card, they can discard one spell to negate this card's activation. Otherwise, negate the activation of their spell card if you can destroy it. I mean, that seems really strong. I'm not sure if it's better than this. I took it last time, right? I did. The thing is, you have to sa like the sacrificing makes me think I don't really want it, but I have also a lot of shitters, so like I'm not against it. Select three of your opponent's monster control zones. The selection zone cannot be used. Okay, this seems really strong. Once per turn, you can toss a coin three times and destroy as many cards as possible, not more than the number of heads. Body, that seems insane. Uh, I don't think it really matters. I think it's my deck, right? Oh, one more. Master of Oz again? When is this guy again? Oh, right, right, right. Okay, yeah. What do you do? You no battle damage from battles involving this card. This card is destroyed by a battle and sent to the graveyard. Special summon one Mirage Knight from your hand or the grave. All right, your hand or the deck. Now, do I have a Mirage Knight? I do not. I'm going to take the Master of Oz then. That's my deck. All right, I hope this was good. I don't know, man. I, I hope I didn't sound like an idiot. I hate re like reading cards out loud makes me always sound like an idiot, but it's fine. It should be fun. I think this deck's actually really good, though. Uh, I'm not sure if it's enough to beat him, but I mean, I think I got turbo lucky because I remember Simo was telling me that there's very few cards that interact with the special deck, and I think I got both. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. All right, Raren, we all know that you are now the master duelist, courtesy of all your Yu-Gi-Oh content you've produced on your channel now. And I figured you would be an adequate candidate for the Hearthstone Arena Yu-Gi-Oh draft. Uh, how are you feeling about this, buddy? Listen, um, I feel really good, actually. Uh, most importantly, because I read all the cards and I think I understood most of them, but- Oh, good. My That's a good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, the draft I had, uh, like I was telling you this off recording, I think it's very good as far as I can tell. Uh, I'm feeling very optimistic here. Now, obviously, I don't know what deck you have. I will have to take some moment to probably read your cards, but it won't take That's that fine. long. Uh, That's fine. I, I honestly think it's going to be 2-0. I think it's gonna be good. I, I will let you know, if your deck's cracked, I do not think my draft is very good. So I think you're gonna have the best opportunity okay. to win uh, as as humanly possible, but. Let's get it. Yeah, what is that little thing? Why All right, buddy. Where's your blue All right. eyes? It's, it's a Sangan. It's a little Sangan, buddy. I see. Okay. Uh, All right, <laughs> first or second, what do you want to do? I should think second might be better at this point. I have no idea. Just to get your extra card? I think that makes sense. I, uh, it's more just like, Okay, so what I learned from regular Yu-Gi-Oh! is sometimes you just win the game going first because your combos are so absurd. I don't think it's actually possible to just win a game on turn one in this format. It doesn't seem like it is. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Uh, see, uh, the fact for, at least for the format we're playing specifically, that's true. Okay, okay. the fact that you're well, saying best of luck, buddy. Right. Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay. Um, best of luck. All right, I'm looking at my... Oh, you're going first. I forgot. You're going first. I'm just going to... Get in there, champ. 
Ooh, breaker right Ooh. off the bat. This is a strong card. This is my favorite card, actually, in it, case it, you didn't know. I will say, I looked at it, I had to read it multiple times because it seemed very good. I was like, that seems very, very strong. Oh, I just love his artwork. I think his artwork's bad. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant the card, dude. I was like, damn, I'm such no, a- No, I mean, the card's good, too. That's just a bonus. I'm just, I love the art, too. I see what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> You can have your turn. All right, breaker set to pass, huh? All right, we can we can maybe beat that, <laughs> maybe. Uh oh, all right, all right. Let's see what you've got when I normal summon this dark elf to the field. I don't even care. No, you're good. Okay, I'm gonna try Wait, smashing grounding your breaker. That guy actually has a ton of attack, though, dude. <laughs> uh, no, you're good. Okay, cool. Uh, let's try to get in for 2,000. I imagine you might have something for this. No, I do not actually. What the hell? Ooh. I'm getting fucking okay. rolled. Maybe I was, maybe I was right to, uh, to smash that breaker then. Yeah, you were definitely You know right. what? You set two cards. I'll set two cards. I'll throw it back. Oh my God. Okay. So you're not the only one with monsters with big attack, buddy. Yeah, that was, 2,000 is actually absurd. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, this is, it's GG. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to do... Nobleman. Okay. okay. Uh, hmm. You set the target. You set the left one first. I feel like that one's probably where. Uh, actually, wait. Extermination says banish that target. Okay, so you're gonna get to learn some bullshit about Yu-Gi-Oh right now. I'm sorry, buddy. All right. So, how extermination works is if the card gets flipped up, the card doesn't actually get destroyed you get because it's an old card that's terrible, and that's how it works. Oh, okay, great. Uh, so I'm gonna chain my wall of revealing light and pay 2,000 life points. Now, any of your monsters with under 2,000 attack won't be able to attack. Okay, I'm not upset about it. I mean, this ain't looking too good. I'm gonna be honest. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> we probably don't want to do that. All right. You were feeling so confident I was, dude. I was what feeling, happened? 1,900 attack is insane. Like it looked like from all these cards, I'm like, oh, that's such a high attack, 2,000. Well, you're really getting hate where this is going when I bring out this Sasuke Samurai. What does that do? At the start of your damage to No, wait. No, that's not good either. <laughs> Let's see if this gets in. Wait, so hold on. Does this? I don't know if this works how I think it does. I, no, you won't see it. Fuck it. <laughs> I was hoping it would flip and then I would be able to proc it. I actually don't know. I was sitting there. I was going to actually legitimately message you when I was drafting. I was like, okay, how does flip actually work? Like if I, if you attack sure. a face down monster, does it flip over? But so it does, but Sasuke Samurai specifically has a special effect that when it attacks set monsters, it destroys, yeah, it destroys. it before they get to flip. Oh. But if I attacked with my Dark Elf, the Penguin Soldier would have flipped and would have bounced my guys back, yeah. just for the record. Okay, okay. So I was correct on that. Which you're is learning. You're oh, learning. Okay. I, I read. I swear. I did. I did. All right. Surely this will help me. Okay, I mean, that's actually not the worst in the world. Now, remember, my wall is up, so anything with 2,000 or less attack can't attack on your feet. I mean, that's, that's just just depressing for sure, but <laughs> <laughs> that is what it is, right? Okay. It's got another back row. Okay. Actually, was this better? Ooh, maybe I sh Oh, no, it didn't matter because I can't swing anyways. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I love as the card game player, you're like going through your head like, uh, hmm, maybe I should have done this. No, maybe I, I should have done that. See, like, it's this is nice because unlike the other fucking Master Duel, like current Master Duel, right? You uh, you could realize your mistake pretty early on as I'm playing it. Oh, my God. So I should have put this. Why did I set it? I knew I was oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's fine. Now, you're probably wondering what this trap card is over here. The one I'm I've wondering what both of these trap cards are because you haven't used either one okay. yet, which is Well, I'll tell you what they are at the end of this. Like I'm gonna keep okay, you in I the guess, fucking dark. But I guess I'll find out. You, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass. I think you're gonna kill me next turn. <laughs> hey, this is it. This is my moment. And okay, I mean, unfortunately for me, I don't think that's gonna be enough. I mean, I'm just. I guess I kind of just have to do this. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. No, but I can't. So, dude, fuck this trap card, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Earthquake to change everything. Sure, it's fine. I don't think I. I don't think it matters right you get just to it doesn't because yeah. i can just change it back next turn yeah 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 okay all right <laughs> it's a learning process it's a learning process oh my god why did i set it again dude i literally <laughs> made the same mistake twice in a row <laughs> it's all right it's all right. all right let's see if we got game here oh this is i'm already thinking about the next game is fun this is the warm-up <laughs> right <laughs> he's already checked out of the first game <laughs> Oh, Yobi ship. Okay, yeah, that doesn't trigger because it wasn't killed by battle. Yeah, oh my God, you're so right. That's fine. I was gonna, I think I was dead regardless there. That trap card's That's nuts. That's crazy. Okay, well. Yeah, it's a super rare though. It's a super, so it's not very common. 
That was your warm up game. That was your warm up game. Was that the warm up game? No, 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 that's fine. It's fine. I come back here. I come back here. <laughs> you know what? You can have first this time. I'll, oh, I appreciate it. I want it. the extra. So I, I wish I didn't give you first after what you just said. <laughs> you ever do that thing where it's like you see someone play something really well and you're like, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but then. You don't, possible. you don't realize that they're just really good at the game. I mean, I wouldn't call myself very good at the game. Uh, nice. Best of luck, buddy. We're going to go. We're going to bring out your favorite card once again. Best of luck, buddy. <laughs> and uh, we'll set two. Go ahead. This is beatable. I think this is beatable. Oh, my God. I, I didn't tell you what the trap card was last time. You didn't, but you could surprise me with it this game. I, <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't think it's going to come into play. Let me do this, though. <laughs> Oh my God! You pulled graceful. That's fucking crazy. Is it nuts? It seemed very, very good. This is this card's banned and has been banned for oh, like okay. twenty years. That makes so a lot yeah, of that sense. should tell you how good this card is. What do I not need? I mean, this card's kind of bad at the moment, and we'll do this as well. Good old Sphinx and Luster Dragon. Okay. Well, that didn't really These help. Are good. Me. Um. All right. Then we can do this. You trying this again? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna work this time, surely. Right? Nice. Yeah, you got it. Oh, I lost mine though. That's fine. I can yeah, look through my opponent's just all deck. copies. You can. You can look at my whole deck and not know what any of my cards do. Yeah. Hold on. Let me just read every single one. I got 865. Yeah, go ahead seconds. if you want. <laughs> yeah, I don't need this. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. I guess it shuffles okay. after anyways, right? Oh, you oh, look at you. You got Cyberstein. Oh, my God. Wait, Holy you shit. Your pull was insane. You can look at Tribe my deck, too? Virus. Yeah, we both get to look oh, okay, at each other's okay, decks. Okay. Snatch Steel. Oh, my God. This deck is insane compared to mine. All right. Yeah, sure. It's one of the very few cards that lets you look through the other person's deck. That's really interesting. Um. God, this thing is so massive. Three back row. Dark Elf's just like my four mana seven seven in Hearthstone. Yeah, it's 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 very very big. Like the cost of it is irrelevant. You get so much tempo from it. I could do this, but this doesn't actually really give me anything unless this is like ginormous, but it's not. Okay, I seen you've had a lot of real back row. That scares me a bit. Okay. Um, that's not a bad card. I'm going to go ahead. What am I afraid of the most that you have? You have like a bunch of random spells and stuff too. I'm going to sacrifice my Dark Elf. And we're going to go for Mobius oh. the Frost Monarch. Excuse me? Okay. And on summon, <laughs> I get to target two of your back row and destroy them. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to pick these two. So I can't... If I even declare, it doesn't matter, right? Because you just get to... And it's just going to get destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you have something else that is worth firing, then that could be worth it. Well, this is the trap I had last game, in case you're curious. Oh, that card can get out of hand <laughs> it, real fast. I thought it would be really good if I was ahead. My my draft looks so good. I was like, oh, this is going to be so free. Yeah. So that's that was the logic right. there. Oh, God. Goodbye, bear. I'm going to try to get in with Mobius here. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Okay. What are you grabbing off of this? An attack position. But I already attacked, so it's not going to die. Oh, Yomi ships of water. Okay, there's some synergy. And I can bounce this. Uh, oh, oh, would you look at look at you. Now the turntables with this Yomi ship. Is that good? Oh, that's actually not bad. I'm going to do this. Ooh. Oh, what, okay. do you, what do you have? Oh, no. Okay. Gonna go for it. Surely it'll work, right? I'm just gonna chain it. It's my graceful dice. Okay. So I roll a die and I gain a hundred times the number. Oh! <laughs> okay, now I still think this is very important, right? To attack with this. So just, oh, I gotta double check this. If this card is destroyed by battle instead of the graveyard, destroy the mod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's, let's. This does work. Yes, this does work. All right, we're so back. It's looking free, I'm gonna be honest. Okay. <laughs> I'll take 16. Three cards to three. How you feeling? At the moment, I'm feeling all right. A little, nerv okay. little nervous. Good. Because you don't seem like you're good. that phased about what I'm doing. So I'm fine. Okay. I'm not like, Fine's I'm not good. loving Fine's it, good. but I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. I think we're just going to set a card and pass. What the hell? Okay. Looks like I'm on the back foot now. That card does not help me, unfortunately. Are you on the back foot, though? Oh, he's big. And I'm very scared. Yep. But this should be all right. Truly. Oh, let's Just barely. Go. I'll take it. Okay. We're cooking. Okay. We're cooking. Look at you attacking with your high monster first. I, like a good Yu-Gi-Oh player. You, thank so you. smart. <laughs> thank uh, you, man. 
Now you have skill dark in hand. And draw to another card. I'll just set one and pass. Oh my god, what is that? Okay. Ooh, that's kind of fun. But I don't think it really matters. I don't want to play this effect. I mean, I'm still probably going to play this. Just hope this is enough. You don't have You fool! Oh, you activated my trap card! That's... I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what does that card do? Hold on. Where would that guy go? When a monster is summoned to... Oh! Just a board wipe. Yeah. Um, A reactive board wipe. My good. I, actually, okay. You know what? Right. It's fine. Uh, I mean, we're tied right now. It's 48 48. I know. This is actually um, weirdly tense. I'm going to. I kind of want to get aggressive with this. I'm not going to lie. Let's do it. Let's bring out Spirit Reaper. All right. Let's see how much you really don't like it when I attack you directly. <laughs> Fairy Box. This card is incredibly annoying. Okay. Please. Oh, Free. lame. <laughs> Woo! All right. You're safe. I didn't do damage, so you don't get the card rip. <laughs> Fairy Box is an insane card. Is it actually? It is. It it's like, it's it's insane in like a limited environment like this. I got you. Okay. Um, You have to choose if you want to keep I it will, around. I will keep that. That seems actually really strong. Okay, wait, so this is, I mean, this thing's going to die anyways, right? Ooh, someone didn't read the first line of text. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, I'm stupid. I did. Oh my God, you're so <laughs> right. Oh no. You, you can still kill it off if you want. Yeah, that sounds so bad, though. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I, I mean, it's it's fine to have a video. I completely forgot. I just read it like literally 20 <laughs> seconds ago and I forgot. <laughs> oh, God. It's fine. It's fine. Well, let's see how fine it is, Raren. When I, I sacrifice no. my Spirit Reaper it's for Jinzo. It's a nice fairy box you got there, buddy. Oh, okay. Dude, come on, man. <laughs> I need a very specific card here. Please give it to me. No, I mean, okay, okay, hold on. I mean, at this- You still have to decide to pay for this fairy box or not, even though its effects are negated. I'm still gonna keep it. Cause I think it's, I think it's important. Okay, he's setting. Fucking Jinzo. All right. <laughs> yeah, Jinzo's insane. Uh, let's bring out Zombira the Dark. See if Zombira can get in. No, not Penguin Soldier! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> See ya. Oh, that's bad. See ya. Talk about tempo. That's, okay. That's nuts. Oh, I'm gonna have to I'll throw a back row down. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm this is anyone's game. This is anyone's game. game. It is pretty Okay, please, please, please. This is the card. This is the card. Come on, come on, come on. We'll still keep you. Uh, this fairy box is going to be the end of me. Then they're champ. It could also be the reason you win the game, though. So. That's also very true. Uh, I will be setting uh, this. Sasuke oh, Samurai 4. This is really annoying because now if I want to try to kill this, I have to win a coin flip 50-50 <laughs> and then I have to win a 50-50 that my attack isn't going to go to zero Listen, on top of it. If I if you asked a Hearthstone player to play Yu-Gi-Oh, bro, I have to go for the RNG aspect. <laughs> every, every, every card I was like, man, 50-50 on heads, I'm going to win this. It's just if it battles, right? If it battles any monster, that's so irritating. Fairy Box plus Sasuke Samurai. So I have like a one in four shot to actually have an attack connect. I think I'm just gonna set. And I'm gonna pass. Oh, okay. Again, I will be doing taking the 500 damage from this. Okay. This has me thinking that this is a big attack or big block or defense minion. If I 50 50 this, we just win, right? No, it's so free, dude. I don't even worry about it. <laughs> It's over. I'm already thinking, I'm thinking about the next game. I already won. What are you calling? Heads every single time. Heads? Oh, yeah. Come on, oh, yeah. dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I'm, unlucky. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm getting the true Hearthstone experience. You are. You, you are. You are. Dude, I, the thing is, is like, even if I win this game, did I actually win this game? I'm just flipping coins. I'm going to go. This is interesting. I'm going to go for Mystic Swords in level two. Is that your damage set? Okay. This is just a better Sasuke Samurai. He's just slightly bigger, so he has the same effect. Destroy that monster during the end phase. If the card is destroyed... Okay, that's actually... Oh my god, it's so free. Yeah. Now, it doesn't matter because my swordsman's going to destroy this anyway. Oh. So it gets around your fairy box a little bit. Right. Unfortunately, um, I have to deal with your stupid samurai still. Yeah, so. this samurai is nuts. 
<laughs> do you think it's gonna be that good? Oh my god. Dude, you know what's better than one samurai? You do not have a second <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Two samurais. You've gotta be fucking kidding this? me. Yeah, Okay. sure. And then we're gonna do... I think I have to do this. No, 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 what is that? Oh! Just shifts everything to defense. Okay. All right. I'm a rude. All right. Wait, this is it's not really bad for me because you just swap after him. These stupid samurai. Wait, how man. does this interact with the swordsman and the uh, the the samurai? Like, do so it doesn't work because it has to be face down defense position. Oh, fair enough. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. So it's still good for you. Uh, and these samurai are still gonna like have their coin flipping effect, which is really irritating. Okay. I think I'm gonna set and I'm gonna set. Okay. And I'm gonna see what you do. Mm. I'm gonna try to just whittle your life points away with this fairy box. Yeah, I'm trying point. to. I mean, I think I mean, I'll probably keep it for one more turn, but we'll see after that. I still think I don't care about the. Um, okay, I'm gonna set this. Okay, we're gonna go to battle. Oh, I forgot the uh, dude. I am a muppet. Oh my god, it's fine. I, you know what? Actually, <laughs> attacking might have been incorrect there. Thinking about what flipping is, I'm gonna say this to cope myself. Okay. I'm a little nervous of what this could be because if you're not attacking, that means that you're obviously thinking that you want me to attack. And your life points are also getting pretty low there. You are right. I could put myself in a very bad position. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this fairy box for one more turn. I'm gonna put the swordsman to attack. Oh, but now you can attack the flipped up. Oh my god, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. I mean, you've been right on every single coin flip you've done so far, so you may as well keep going, right? Oh my, oh my god, what are the odds of that? That's like four or five in a row. <laughs> it still dies though, right? Yeah, it still dies. It does. That's a nice play on my purpose. Spy plus guard, by the way, that's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go to main two. Did you rig it by chance? I don't know. Did I rig it, he says, oh my god. Kind of crazy, dude, I don't know. <sighs> okay, so you're gonna go down to five from fairy box. God, her life is so low. I hate this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna bring out this Jinzo over the Mystic Swordsman. Oh. That's just- I think I'm just gonna pass. That's just trap cards, right? Yeah. Okay. Just trap cards. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm. So now this is a funny position for you because your Sasuke's could potentially uh, kill my Jinzo, but if you attack with them and call wrong, uh, you just lose the game immediately. <laughs> so feel, f or that works. That's a card too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Swords, that's fine. I mean, I'm still, I think this is still correct. Unless I want to go for something spicier. Hold on a second. Okay. Like spicier with one card left. What does he got? I think this is actually good. Going to meta one of the Sasuke's for actually, Dark Fire maybe Dragon. This, maybe this was incorrect. I, this card's just been sitting here for so long. I was waiting to get a one card, but at this point, it feels like it's very unlikely. And I'm going to win this 50-50 anyway, so I might as well just get the damage, right? <laughs> If you win this 50 50, I swear to God. I'm gonna, there's no way you're gonna get this right. There's no way. Oh, thank you. Okay, no, finally. Oh, my dream. <laughs> you have swords up, though, so I can't attack you as long as that's up. Yeah, but I. I mm. Oh, okay, man. So I, was, I was hoping this metamorphosis would pay off for, but. I'm gonna put the soldier to. Do I even put it into attack? If I put into attack, if you try to attack with Sasuke, you just lose the game. So maybe that is the right thing to do. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do that. Oh. I'm not gonna let you try to keep like chip hitting in with it. Like, I like that concept. I like that concept. All right, it's fine. This is the card that wins through the game. Oh, wait, that's actually, wait, that's actually really good. Oh, shit. This is, this is correct. Uh oh. Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, I guess I shouldn't have put the Archfiend Soldier to attack position. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. What are you, what are you, what is this trap card here? All right, there's so many decisions. How are you feeling about that Sasuke? How are you feeling but about see, that, this huh? Is, this is a tough decision, right? Because if I win this 50-50, <laughs> it might just be game right now, right? But if I miss it, it might just be the game. Oh, this is, I, I don't like this game. <laughs> Remember, I can't attack you for two more turns. Swords is still active. I win these every time. He's going for it. Let's go. This Please, is, this is for, this is the let there be justice. <laughs> let there be justice. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, that would have been so backbreaking for you too. Was I think it, I'm gonna lose. What was that card? That was uh So if you attacked it, it would have put your Sasuke back on the top of your deck. Oh, that so would've you would have been basically bad, yeah. it would have set you back a draw. I think I'm dead. Let's go. I think you got this. Let's go. I can't believe it. Because of the stupid Megamorph. Yeah, the Megamorph top deck was nuts. That was nuts. I don't think there's any way that I could do that. I can't attack you, so it doesn't do anything. That doesn't do what anything. The guy just pulls out a binocular with three lenses. Yeah, buddy. You, you, I think you got it. I'm going to set one. Okay. I'm a little nervous what this could be. I don't know how many flip effects you took. Oh, that dude, if only I could play that card and it would, oh, came too late, came too late. All right. Okay, let's do this. With exactly 1,200 life points to my name. You got it, let's buddy. Let's go. Here, Holy that okay. shit, that to Megamorph top deck. That was that, nuts. That, to be fair, like, the amount of things that had to go right in that game for me to win was absolutely astounding. Like, I oh had to win, God. like, six 50-50s in a row there. The all-important game three. Uh, I think I'm going to go second because I think the extra card is actually very <laughs> beneficial. So, <laughs> best of luck, my guy. Okay. Give me the card. Give me the card. Give me the card. Give me the card. I drew him at the end of last, at the end of last game. No! I wish you could do Mulligan in this game. This is an okay hand. Yeah, that's one thing that a lot of people uh, hate about Yu-Gi-Oh is that there's no mulligan. I don't know. Yu-Gi-Oh might be too broken if there was a mulligan. <laughs> it would be very strong. Very, very strong. Okay, so let's do... Uh, I think it would... God, it would actually be probably the most disgusting thing ever. Just raw summoning skilled light magician. Actually, I should have been in defense, but whatever. It's fine. Yeah, there's a bunch of cards I'd like to see here. That was not one of them. Let's do this. I'm just going to set and pass. Interesting. Is this a big minion is the question? Could be anything. I'm going to go with no. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to battle this. All right. Oh my god. Let's, let's go. So this time this is going to work. Unfortunately, you get breaker back, which I'm not happy about. Also take that damage. Thank you so much. Yep. Oh, man. Yo, I'm kind of nervous. I don't know about you. Jeez. If, if I could take a W on Simu's channel, I think I truly am Yugi Mono. You truly are Yugi Mono. Yeah, the battle of the protagonists right now. I know you've got a breaker on the top. Got three other cards in hand. I'm going to set one. I'm going to Fisher off your skilled light magician. Oh. Okay, I'll pass it to you. Okay. All right, so why would you do another one of those? Another face down monster. You knew what my next card was going to be, but you know what? I feel like you weren't ready for me just to do the exact same play again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if that's true. At least for God's sake, work. Oh, spicy are we? Okay. What was that about not thinking you were going to do the same thing? Yeah, but okay, listen, 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 <laughs> listen. I mean, I don't think I had a better play. Like every other video just dies to that, I'm pretty sure, but. I'll, I'll hand well, it to let's you. see your breaker die to mine. We'll go Sukiyomi. Wait, that was very rude. And we'll try to take breaker out. <laughs> and I'll set one and I will end the turn. Sukiyomi goes to my hand. That was incredibly rude. Hmm. 1900 uh, defense is pretty large. He's pretty thick. There's, He's a thick boy. There seems to be like a, a break point in this in this format where like 1900 and 2000 seems to be like the the highest attack until you start sacrificing, right? Mm -hmm. These, yeah, there's like some 2100s, but there's actually some 2300 normal summons, but they have like major downsides. Okay. They might be like they go to defense after they attack and they have like zero defense. Yeah, so I like saw a couple of those during draft for sure. Um, But they're okay. Like they're like, they're kind of like removal if you just look at it that yeah, way. Yeah, for sure, for it's sure. Like, what are you now you're setting i've seen like penguin soldier i've seen gravekeeper spy gravekeeper's guard uh yomi ship I'm trying to just think of like everything you could have back there i'll go with an archfiend soldier okay. and i'm gonna try to get a bit aggressive here it is the yomi ship all right see ya archfiend soldier oh my god 
I'll pass. Please give me the card. Give me the card. Give me the card. Give me the card. I mean, that's not exactly what I wanted. Do I really want to? I mean, this is a pretty good minion to, I guess, hit with this. Hammer shot. Sure. Okay. We'll do this. Oh, God. He's back. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then we'll, we go again. we'll do this. All right. That's Whew. annoying. This is, uh, this is a bit spooky. This is RNG is what it's going to come down to potentially. <laughs> Dude, I'm so sorry. Oh, God. All right. What do we do now? I have to kill this fucking thing. Like, I just, I have to. Oh, you don't. You're fine. I feel like too much has to go right for me to do that. Wait, what year was this card released then? The Samurai? Sasuke Samurai? Uh, 2004. It's a very old card. Okay. What was, uh, what was all these cards are printed before 2005. Okay. Earlier. Another quick question for you. When was Yu-Gi-Oh! invented? Sure. Uh, so we got it here in the U.S. in 2002, but it was oh. uh, first in Japan in 1999. Okay, so this is a, like this is still like a really relatively new card to the game. Uh, uh, at this point in time, yes, okay. yes, it is. I think I'm gonna go for this Asura Priest. You gonna swing with it? <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna hate myself, but I'm gonna try it. Ed and you're dead. No! Oh, thank God. Okay. There's justice in the world. My whole Thank game you. plan right. shattered. Dude, it's actually crazy that that card exists. Um, just in a card game alone. I, the reason I asked like how early on was this printed was because um, sometimes Hearthstone, well, not sometimes, in the early days of Hearthstone, they had RNG that was kind of like that, where like flipping a coin just uh -huh. kind of decided the outcome of the game sometimes. So There's a lot of like coin flip slash dice cards um, in Yu-Gi-Oh, like in older Yu-Gi-Oh, I would say. And like some of them were actually quite good. Like, there's one card, for instance, called a Snipe Hunter. It's not in this set uh, or this pool of cards. Oh, look, you have one, too. I do. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so Snipe Hunter's effect is you discard a card, and uh, you can target a card on the field. And as long as you don't roll a 1 or a 6, so 66% chance, you destroy the card, uh, which is pretty cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> which is pretty cool. <laughs> A Sora Priest is annoying, but it's manageable. Uh, we're going to go Bazoo the Soul Eater. Oh, I saw this guy. He looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to activate him. I'm going to get rid of... Holy uh, shit, that guy's a big attack boy. He he can get big. He can get big. I'm going to get rid of two guys. We're going to make him 22. Okay. Oh, my God. What's this little guy in the corner called? Your dude? Sangan. He's, he's fucking pumped when he did that. He is. Okay, please. He's a fun little Ah, oh, dang it. I'm going to do this. Ooh, okay. Going to try to assert a priest over my bazoo. Oh, Luster Dragon. Sure. Don't kill that. Don't, um, don't you dare. Don't you That is incredibly annoying. It is? It's fine. I am going to have to wall. I don't even know. What is that? So I pay oh, life okay. points, and then you just can't attack with those. Monsters. Whoa! So I, that is spicy. So it's like your swords, but a little bit. All right. That's pretty good. This is this is really Actually, close. This is crazy. This is really close. That's why I'm nervous. <laughs> uh, we got engraved. One guy. I think we're just always going for this, right? Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, we'll bring out Jinzo, your favorite guy. Ah, okay, no, that's actually okay. That's actually okay. I had the perfect answer for him. Did you? I guess we'll see if that's true. You didn't think of, you didn't think about this card, Discurity. You thought Samurai was bad? Hey, what is this card on? Hey, I saw this card. I had to pick it. Oh shit! Oh, Speaking of the RNG cards, <laughs> fuck off! Are you serious? <laughs> and it got six twice. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm so sorry. Out for blood. I'm so well, sorry. thankfully, you can't attack me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I should have put a defense. I forgot about your fucking wall, but whatever. Oh, my God. Uh, well, thankfully, I get to kill this thing off. I'm going to go for... I need guys on the field. We'll go tomato. <laughs> we'll go tomato. Fucking roulette barrel. Unbel I, I can't believe you rolled a six twice, I, well, by so, the way. I'm just That's incredible. Insane. I don't know what to tell you. You're just, this is the uh, the Hearthstone skill difference. That's really what this is. <laughs> oh, that's kind of absurd. Can I still not attack? How long does this last for? Oh, it's what? permanent until you get rid of it. I mean, I still kind of have to do this, I guess. 
Oh yeah, I can't. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Oh my god. Because you pay a thousand. I thought it was pay a thousand life points when I'm attacking. That's how I read it. Oh no no no. That's no, fine. No. It's fine. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. I could have made a way better play. I was thinking about maybe I put you to a really weird position, but yeah. Okay. You have to tell me after the fact. No, I was thinking like um, I can just say right now, like your your cards a battle. So if I kill your if I attack your tomato, I thought the logic was then you'd pay a thousand life points and you'd be at you'd be at four hundred and it'd send me. Oh, I see what you mean. But I missed one the card. You're twenty seven. If those back row aren't real, I can lethal you. So I'm gonna try. Aren't real. <laughs> I mean, I'm dead anyway. Same result. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you might be dead anyway. <laughs> That's a real back row. Don't get me wrong. Oh. But... No, GG. I could have put a card GG, in defense. That was, close. that was close. That was really close. Andy, no, I could have put a card in defensive position, which would have maybe saved my life there for an extra turn. But I should have thought about one turn later because then I knew you would have just played another minion and killed me regardless. I'm going to yeah. show you my my amazing plan I had for you. Hold on. Okay, yeah. so my plan was to try to get this guy. This deck is crazy, it, by the it way. It seemed very good. Uh, sorry, I, I kind of missed this. But yeah, this guy seemed uh, very strong. Yeah. Um, yeah. When I saw him, I was like, oh, I could just win the game because if I just pull out this card, how do you win? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I get there's things that destroy it, but yeah, of course. That was I don't know if you have Gatling Dragon either. Uh, it doesn't look like I you. Think I oh, no, you do. Is that the? Is that next to Master of Oz in the extra deck? Yeah, Gatling Dragon's also good to get off of it because you like your coin flip cards. Read this guy. Yeah, he. I did notice he was. He seemed very, very strong. I was my other game plan, by the yeah. way, was because I got Metamorphosis. I think pretty early on. Uh -huh. So I was okay. hoping to. There's a one star unit in my. I was hoping to get him, and then I would sacrifice him to pull this dude out for a thousand eyes. Yeah, yeah a thousand eyes is insane. So yeah. I, that was what like I was really hoping for, it, and I kept drawing the metamorphosis, and then I drew this later on the last game. But I already uh, my metamorphosis is already gone by the time I drew him. So. No, it sucks that you only had one level one to pair with. Yeah, him, but I mean at least you had other guys too, like. Uh, like you could have, do you, is Guardian Sphinx level five or six? Uh, five. It's a five. Okay, like that into like Dark Balter, the terrible isn't a terrible card either, because that can negate spells, which is pretty strong. So he has like built-in protection. Yeah, I don't. There's um, there was a lot yeah. of potential with this deck, is what I was saying. No, for sure. Like I mean, you're you, the the core of your deck is like pretty solid because you have a lot of removal. Because you have like the Yomi ship, you have the Nudoria. Um, you have Breaker, which is good for back row. Tribe infecting virus is great for destroying stuff. Uh, you have hammer shot. You even have snatch steel. Like <laughs> this is a solid deck. You know, I, I know you're more of a Hearthstone guy than Yu-Gi-Oh guy, but you really put the the drafting skills to the to test here. Thank you. Because I think this deck actually came out pretty solid. I'll be curious to see your My actual like run yeah. to see your thought process for picking certain cards. Definitely. I, I will tell you, it's not that impressive. I just read through all the cards and I said, wow, that one looks really good. <laughs> I think that one. <laughs> There's nothing. That's that's how that's how draft goes, right? I, I think it's like I played a bunch of card games, so I think like realizing how powerful a card can actually be is like one of my strong suits now. Now playing the card game optimally, like I'll, I'll, I'll let I'll let the audience decide that. Like I'm sure. Like what did I make? Maybe one misplay that whole thing. So. I'm not too worried. I mean, if I gave you a Sword Soul deck to play in this draft, then you'd be totally fine. Oh, yeah, right? for sure. For sure. When you asked me to do this, right? Like, I was like, oh, like, this is good. This is a good time to play this just because these cards yeah, are easier to understand. Yeah, because it warms you up. Yeah. And yeah. also, it's just easier to understand, right? Like, I don't have to worry about what the hell you're doing because and then read every single card. Try to figure that out. Exactly. That well, that's why a lot of people like older Yu-Gi-Oh! Because it is this simple where it's like you play only a couple cards a turn at most and the cards only have one line of text. Yeah. So it's like oh, this was enjoyable, dude. That's why people enjoy it. I would do. Yeah. I would. I would do this again. I really wanted this to pop off. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. I you forced the game three though, which is insane. God, dude, no, man, dude, I wanted to pull this out so bad. It would have been <laughs> incredible. I think as someone who doesn't play Yu-Gi-Oh as often, I think it's uh, it's hard for me to really be like as charismatic as possible because like hard, when I do Hearthstone content, it's muscle memory basically at this yeah, point. Yeah, of right? course. So it's of course. I have to like same thing with me and Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. So like, it's much more easier to just have a conversation where I'm just sitting here like reading my cards to make sure I'm not misplaying <laughs> and I'm still misplaying. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout to shout 1317, Tim00X3, MBT Play Medulce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian, of Stardust, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Players Soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, R.I.P. Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and Life Keeps Using Solemn Judgment.